Hi and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM. Today we're starting a new season in the Hereford Save and I'm just going to take you through all the changes that we did uh, for this season to prepare. So, one of the biggest things that I said would be crucial for this year, for this season in the game, is that we needed some additional income. Now, um, if you've watched the very end of the previous episode, even after I talked about, you know, liking and subscribing and all that, which by the way, if you haven't liked and subscribed, feel free to do that now. Um, yeah, so at the very end of the episode, we had a news item which announced the building of a new stadium. So at the moment, we are borrowing a stadium. We're in Kidderminster. We're sharing the Hagerborough stadium with quite a few different teams actually whilst we are building an expansion well we're not building a new stadium we're building an expansion to our uh, stadium so that's going to take a year to complete and in the meantime we are there um obviously we took out a loan to get that achieved also uh, i think partly of it was funded by grants excuse me i just ate dinner very fast um, yeah, so we, it was partly funded by a grant, partly funded by a loan. Uh, now, it turns out that if we compare our previous year's uh, season uh, tickets, it's grown quite a bit. Because I think, I guess we're able to sell a lot more tickets. Because I think the stadium we're in now has got 6,000 seats, whilst the one before... Well, it was 5,000 standing, I think, 2,000 seats. I'm not sure, but anyway, sold a lot more season tickets, or maybe they are just more expensive. I haven't actually checked. Uh, I think they're the same price. Uh, I can't, I can't remember. If anyone has seen that in previous um, episodes, then let me know. But um, yeah, I can't remember how that compares to our previous season ticket. Um. Okay, so we we have that as a source of income. We also have more sponsorship income uh, this season. And I think that's about it. So we don't re really have many more sources of income. But we are now um, uh, above the red, I suppose. Uh, with uh, half a million in the bank at the moment. But that will go quickly, though. So that's not really ve very encouraging. Now, that's one thing. The other thing is we also need to get uh, slightly better players in order to stand a chance of securing playoffs and also winning those playoffs. Uh, apologies if the audio is slightly delayed. I've noticed that's a thing that OBS has been doing. So I'm going to try to fix it in the edit if I remember. But I'm not sure if I'll remember. So apologies if it's still delayed. Um, Okay, so let's uh, take a look at the transfers that we've made, because that's the most exciting thing. So we've made more transfers than last season, I think, because last season also includes all of these January transfers that we did. So this season, in the preseason, we've made quite a few transfers. Now, right off the bat, you'll see two familiar names. One of, been, one of them being Conrad Shepard. He was, uh, if you look on the notes on the left hand side, he uh, was with us last season already. And I just essentially loaned him again. So he's going to come back and do exactly what he was doing before, which is to try and split um, his time uh, with Kaya. So Kaya and Conrad will uh, play alongside Brad. That's the plan. Max Clark is also back. Uh, he's. Um, he was with us as a left winger last season, and um, but he was on loan last season. This season we actu actually managed to sign him. So he's back and he's a full signing this time around. Now, no changes in goal. Goal, we still have Tom Yates and Alex Palmer. No changes in right uh, side of the of defense. We still have Cami and Leon, uh, which is actually quite concerning. I wish I, we had someone better, but we just couldn't source anyone. Now, on the left-hand side, you'll notice we have three players rather than two players. Uh, the reason for that is we have we have quite a few loans. So you'll notice that Keanu... Uh, Sh Sh Siren? I don't know how you say that. Siren Noble is on loan. 
We also have uh, a halfback on loan. We have a right back, a right winger on loan. And both of our main shadow strikers are on loan as well. So I, part of me thought, oh, maybe I shouldn't, maybe I shouldn't have Kieran on loan. I should get someone who's a, a signing. So um, yeah, so I'm not even, I'm not entirely sure right now if I'm going to send Kieran back. Um, I don't want to. The reason I don't want to is because Kieran Noble looks like this. Physicality, actually all of the, these things are pretty good for this level. Ambitious player, it's only, only 20 years old, uh, still got potential to improve, uh, quite great physicals for a, a winger. And his replacement is alright. I mean, me mentally he's great because he's older, but physicality, n no, and technical, n no. So I'm not sure if I, I'm not sure what I'll do. Two options, I could keep Rico, use Max as our main player and have Rico as a backup. Um, or keep Rico and uh, Karen and use Rico as a mentor for Karen and give Karen more first team time than Max and have Max as more like a second player. So I don't know. I guess I'm going to keep Karen for now for a month and then see how that goes. We still have a month before the transfer window closes. So, so that's it. So that's Karen and Rico. Um, now we have a new halfback. Um, we've moved Rabiu to, which was our previous second halfback, to the end of 23s. And in fact, we've loaned him out. Or there we go. There he is. We've loaned him out so uh, he can uh, keep getting keep getting experience. And we've got Jose Abreu from Stoke, and he's a young halfback, very capable. Um, so he's a new player. He's going to play alongside. Well, no, he's going to play as a backup for Alan. Alan Jardine. No changes in midfield as such. We have our new right winger, right inside forward, on loan from Fulham, Malakai Canham. He looked great. Uh, so hopefully he'll do great things for us. We have uh, no one new in the left side. So we have still have Dodds and Diogo and the winger. Uh, left side of attack. Uh, as far as strikers go, we still have Craig, but we've got a new striker, uh, Nian Holt. Uh, so he looks slightly better than Craig, and he's also got bags of room for improvement, so we're going to try and capitalize on that. Train him up. Now you'll see we'll also have three Shadow Strikers listed on this list. Now, this is a bit of a lie, actually. I haven't actually decided on Yan yet. He, I've delayed the decision. But we do have Jake Young from Rangers, and he looks great. But slightly, I think he looks even greater, is uh, Milos Kaus. 18-year-old. Looks really good. Now, again, it's back to this loan. Like, I have slightly too many players on loan. So this could cause me a bit of an issue when I'm trying to pick. So at the moment, I think I have, let's go back to one, two, three, four, five, six. I can have a maximum of five listed in the match squad. So I can't have all of them listed in the match squad. I have to leave one of them out. Uh, so what I've decided to do here for this match is to just test out Rico, which I ha we haven't played in preseason because he just came recently. Um, have Max on the bench for that position and leave Karen out. Because we know Karen's pretty good. I mean, he's did a lot better in preseason than Max. So, so that's it. I mean, the other option would be to keep Rico and Karen and loan Max out. That would be another option. But we'll, I guess we'll play about here for now. And um, yeah, so that's it. Also, captains wise, I'll just look at the club info for a bit because I saw some things there that we look into. Um, the other reason I want to keep Milis Kaos um, and maybe not get Jan is because he's our new captain. Uh, he's very driven. And we got Mark Dodds finally accepted to come on to captaincy again because he used to be our captain back when he was like 17. 
because we sold them at one point. And then we got him back for free. So he used to be our captain here. And when he came back, he didn't want to be captain. So now we finally convinced him to be vice captain again. So that's good. Um, ba -ba -ba, we're determined. Oh yeah, a few favorable personnel were dropped. So we had um, Will Huffer and Alice, Alice, also Alice Coyne. So they always are past goalkeepers for us. And they've both been dropped out of this list. Uh, Mark Dodds has been added to this list again. He used to be on the list and he got dropped. And now he's back. And I have a feeling there used to be someone else there, but I can't remember who it was. And that's it. Um, yeah, we're adding we're adding more coaches to the end of the twenty threes. Uh, I've I've weeded out as well the end of twenty threes, so that we've got less players there as well. So let's look at transfers history. So James Brown, I've sold. He used to be. Yeah, it's actually old. Is uh, used to be our old right right defender. Sean Coleman, we managed to loan out again. I think we've also released a few players. Yeah, I released one old halfback. Uh, the other old, I think he was a left left uh, defense. Uh, Taylor Wilson, we've we released. He used to be he used to play from main squad. He was a, one of our one of the only player that came from our youth, uh, and then eventually got promoted to the senior squad. But now he's not good enough to maintain that position, so we decided to release him. He was too old to stay in the under twenty threes, and these three were just standard young players that never, you know, they weren't good enough to stay with the under twenty threes anyway. So the under 23s looks like this now. I still have a couple of players that need to go. Ben Salt being one of them. And these two young players being the other. And the under 18s looks like this. So that's it. We're going to play our next match. I haven't actually... I'm trying to see if I've done this. this looks like I have actually. Balance. I'm gonna go positive. So no further feedback from the coaches, which is fine. Uh, I think I've done everything. Oh yeah, uh, Young. Okay, so maybe I haven't then. Why is he there? Uh, instead of Young, we're gonna play Cows. And that's it. Okay, right, let's go ahead. This is the first match. Oh, ooh, very important. No, I can't miss this. Let's look at the preview. Okay, we're not bottom. It's a good start. Actually, I think I checked this a couple of weeks ago in the game. And we were 21st or 22nd. So, yeah. We're not bottom. That's the main takeaway from this. We're not favorites to be relegated. Now, because I have a couple of new coaches, I need to go away. I, I should have done this before the first match, but I need to go away and check whether or not the staff responsibilities are still as expected. Wow, that was a good run by Malachi. Yeah, so I need to check that Jarvis is still doing the opposition instructions. I, th I think he's doing that. No, he's doing tactical advice. He's probably also doing opposition instructions. That was pretty good. Now, one bit of sad news is that uh, I think our, my one patron has left me. So I now have no patrons again. So this is a little bit of a plug that if you would like to support the channel on Patreon, you can find the link in the description. And we're back at 1-1. One, one. Everything's drawn. Back to being drawn. So we're playing away from home. We can see the fans in the corner.
So we're playing with Palmer uh, Go. That's that's um that's fine. I'm still trying to decide. I mean Tom Yates was doing most of the playing at the end of last season, but the preseason wasn't that great for him. So I started with Palmer, but they'll both get a chance to play within the first few months. Kaos with a goal here. This was a pretty confusing play, I think. So Shepard puts it in the box. Diogo gets obstructed and then he gets defended and then Kaos just picks up the ball. Okay, so Logan on the right of the fence. That's okay. Hills on Shepard, my preferred double there. I probably should play with Kaya because Kaya wants more playing time. But I'll do that in the next match. Rico, the we've discussed that already. Uh, Jose Abreu is the new halfback. Davis, I mean, Davis is meh. He's fine uh, as a box to box. Uh, then we have a new right inside forward playing today. And he's here it is. And he already scored one goal. And then we also have our new Shadow Striker and also Captain Chaos. And today we're not playing Dodds, we're playing Diogo for some reason. I can't remember why I've chose that. It might be because Dodds is tired or injured. And the new Striker, Holt. Ah, oh, they both missed. Just tidying up my notes here in the background. Okay, so I need to make a decision about um, Jan, the the Shadow Striker I would bring in if I could agree to either letting letting Kaos go back to his club, but Kaos is great, I mean he's already scored in his de debut, or Jake Young, the other sh Shadow Striker who was also on loan, Scottish, Scottish kid. So I need to decide. I'm not sure. Well, I don't know. I don't think Jan is all that interesting. Maybe I should just stick with the young guys and put up with the fact that maybe, uh, you know, that I can't, I won't be able to play to have all five of them in, the, in all six of them in the match squad. But I have one month to think to think about it. I only need to make that decision by the end of September, by the end of August. So, um, yeah. There's been quite a lot of highlights for uh, for the match. I wish I'd played Dodds. I can't remember why Dodds isn't playing, but I wish I'd played Dodds because uh, it'd be kind of cool to see what Dodds does with uh, uh, cows and well, actually all four of them, the 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 four attacking players. So um, Malachi Canham, who's scored, cows who's also scored, and Neon Holt. The new striker who's not scored yet, but uh, I'm hoping he will. He had quite a good preseason, he scored a lot of goals for us in the preseason. So he's looking pretty good. There he is, and flicked the ball to no one. I think Dodds is in these subs, so if he is, 
I'll bring Diogo out at half time and bring Dodds in. Ah, oh, man, lack of communication there. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is Dodds, yeah. Okay, so let's do that. See what happens. Not sure why I'm not, I didn't play him from the start. Because I think what I did, I played the best players that, like the players with the best um, ratings for the preseason, but. So maybe Diogo had better ratings in the preseason. I don't know. Okay, time to do the rest of the subs. Um, He's got a yellow. And. He's really knackered, isn't he? But let's play Max. Okay, we've got Dodds in action. Loses the ball. And bearing in mind that Dodds compared to the new player score. So compared to Jake, compared to Cows, compared to Holt even. But mostly uh, Jake and Cows and Conrad. But Conrad is a ha is a central defender, so it's not really a fair comparison. But yeah, compared to those, he's actually not that great compared to them. But he's, a, he's our left, he's our best left um, winger. Oh, that was lucky. Okay, it looks like it's a win. I need to all, I just remembered, I need to check tuition, um, not tuition, mentoring groups. Just to see if, uh, if they've been set up correctly. Okay, here's cows. He's got a chance here to shoot Dodds. Okay. The cows got immediately surrounded by all the defenders. So they know. Okay. All the way up to Malachi. Cows. Oh man, on the line. Don't get upset, it's fine. Doing a pretty good job there, Dodds. Cutting all the... Um... I think that's Dodds anyway. Might not be. No, it was cows. Cows are pretty good at uh, cutting the ball. I'm not sure what he was doing that in that position, but he was, did a good, pretty good job. Okay, we won anyway. In the, um, in the in the second half, we had pretty good chances, but we didn't manage to score. Them. So that's um, we'll have to work on that now. One thing one thing I'm gonna check just before I finish the episode is I'm gonna. Uh, explore the mentoring groups just to see if there's anything else we can do. No, okay. I'll add Jardine back up. There we go. Okay, so we still can't do much with the groups. Maybe the new players have to settle a bit more. But um, okay, that's that's fine. Yeah, so I have a few decisions to make regarding those two positions. So the left winger. Sorry, the left wing back and also the shadow striker. Because, you know, there's no point in me having three players for those positions. So I need to make some sort of decision of how I'm going to use them if I keep all three. Or who I'm going to send back or who I'm going to loan out. 
and all of that. But that's going to be all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you are enjoying the series. I'm hoping to come back in the next episode for the January, re January review. And that's the, usually the episode where you get an idea of how well the season is going. And you also get to see how else I've uh, changed the squad as well. So, um, yeah, so we kind of just, I kind of just go through the first half of the season just to kind of get a feel for it and then adjust things in January and then show you how that's going then. So I'll come back uh, around about end of January, February sort of time and show you how that's going. You can also check out the Patreon. The link is in the description. And also in the description is a link to free shares. Uh, well, I always say that wrong, free trade. So if you are interested in uh, getting shares and if you know, like you obviously do your research first, but yeah, you can, if you follow my link, you can get a free share. Uh, and that's it. Also in the description, you can also find the link for the music that I put in the background. Take care. See you. Bye-bye.